Hi folks, thanks for stopping by to visit my channel. Now the water like you see in this picture here normally comes from the outside. There's water settling on the outside of the wall or whatever. Uh, you need to try and correct these problems first. On my website I do have information on what to look for out there. Um, you can live with a problem like this or you can solve the problem. Um, it's a big difference once you solve it. You know, the next picture that's going to come up, this is the same area you were just looking at. This is sealed from the inside. I'm going to show you how you can go about this, but remember, you always want to take care of the outside first. Now, the first thing you want to do on the inside is you need to prepare any cracks, get any residue off the walls. All this is from where water's been leaking when uh, there was a major storm came around with torrential rains, and this basement did leak. So we're going to get all this residue off the wall. This is a little hard work right here is the wire brushing. You do have to wire brush a little bit hard. Um, but it's either that or pay someone else and pay thousands of dollars to have it done. So you want to get all this off and then you want to brush the dust off the wall and make sure there's no sediment. Now this here, all I'm doing is this is just water. You want to wet any of the cracks that you're going to seal or bad mortar joints before you put it on so it'll actually take a grip. Now some of, some of these mortar joints have just got very light cracks so you can actually make a, a almost a cement wash and brush it in and it'll cover. The thicker cracks you need to make the mortar into more of a paste and apply it either with a, a two to three inch putty knife or you can use a trowel. You can also go back after if you want with a, a damp sponge just before it completely dries and just float it in a little bit so it'll be smooth. Now I'm mixing this a little bit here. I'm just using small amounts as you can see. You don't want to mix a whole bunch because it will set fast and if it sets up, you're going to lose it. So you want to try and just mix enough to work with. Right now, what I've got there is a little bit too too thin for doing patching of thick cracks. But you can add a little bit more water than use it for brushing it on, like a wash. Now you can see this wall had a lot of areas that needed to be fixed up. So we've taken the patching all these before we start any waterproofing at all. Very important that you do this because the waterproofing won't grab into some of the bigger cracks and things. You need to make sure that it's filled in and then when you put the waterproofing it's going to do what it's supposed to do. And you do need to put two coats of the waterproofing. Now this took like three days to actually do this job. Um, I've cut the video as much as I can to show you. This is the product that I use. They do have um, some other products, the same company, really great. Um, they have some that are actually liquid. This one's a powdered mix. You, the liquid one has also got the same rating, so it should be good for you. Now this one, as you see, it looks like I'm an amateur painting here, but what it is, this stuff is, is a powder-based mix with water, and you have to use a brush on things like this because it's very rough cracks and stuff that a roller won't get. Even the thick rollers won't work so much because the sand will accumulate in the roller after a while. So you want to use a brush on doing this first coat. Now here I'm putting water on first and you need to do that with, the, with the waterproofing and with any mortar that you use. You wet it first and then you grip. That's, that's why the wall is dark. It's because it's wet from water. And you don't need to saturate it but you do need to make sure that it's moist. Then you just brush on your sealer. Now the back wall is the one I was wire brushing. That's got one coat on it. And we're going to need two. We're going to put two on the whole area. Now when it comes to doing the floor, the floor is a smooth surface. So on the floor we can actually use a roller, which is a lot quicker. But doing these walls, it's best to use a four inch brush. It's a thick four inch brush. Now basically we've got two of them. One we're just using for water and the other one for putting on the waterproofing. You can see that floor is pretty nasty, but we're going to put two coats of the water seal on it. Right now that back corner is already getting dark because we're putting water on, we're dampening the floor. This is what you can end up with your end result. It's very easy, I mean it's hard work, but it's very easy to make it look nice. After 30 days you can put regular paint on the wall, it will not come off the wall, just keep the moisture away from it. And uh, you can paint the floor with the, with the regular concrete paint and your basement will add value to your home. But remember, always do the outside first. Thank you folks, enjoy it. Uh, well, I don't know how you can enjoy working in the basement, but it, 
when you think of the money you're going to save, you'll enjoy it. You have a terrific day. Thanks for stopping by.